Hello guys, what's up? Jimmy here. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can send messages back and forth between iframes and uh, window objects uh, using React. So basically what we're going to end up making is this right here. For example, I'm going to pass a message to a child iframe and then I'm going to pass a message back to the parent. So we can do this back and forth. Also, we're going to learn how to do this with a window object. So basically, uh, I can open up another window. I can send a message to the child, here it is, and then I can post the message back to the parent. So all the code that I write is going to be available for you guys to download at a GitHub repo. So I'll, I'm going to post that link in the description for you to use. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the first step that I did was that I created a new React app. Of course, if you are already working with something, you're going to want to skip this step. The next thing that we need to do is install the React Router DOM. Uh, at least this is what I'm going to do for the application that I just built. Uh, maybe if you are going to be using your iframes or window uh, URLs on your website, this is not going to be something that you need, but uh, this is something that you should also install. So as of right now, I've only made this a uh, base structure on our Create React app. The first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new file, which is going to be our iframe parent. And right here, we're just going to make our default function to export. And then I'm going to write our render method. Then I'm going to go back to our app and I'm going to add a route. And we are going to want to import our annual creator component. So I'm just going to go ahead with this and I'm going to go to our uh, endpoint. So basically this is going to be uh, the parent of our iframe. So the next step is that I'm going to create the child for this component. Inside I'm just going to copy the same structure for now I, and I'm just going to rename this. And we are going to want to give this an other URL and also import that. So let's save both of these. And I'm going to go to the parent and right here, I'm going to add an iframe. So I just wrap this uh, with a div and the source for the iframe is going to be our newly created route. I'm just going to set a width. And on the iframe, we're just going to edit this and I'm going to send it, but in a smaller font. And then we're just going to save both of these. And as you can see here, we have the parent of the iframe and the child. So once we are at this point, what I'm going to want to do is that I want to send a message from the parent to the iframe. So that is what we're going to do. First, I am going to add a button on the parent uh, iframe. I am going to create a on click event. and I'm going to create the function to handle it. So once we have this, we're going to need a way to identify this iframe and to be able to pass messages to it. So we need to use a React function, which is called a useRef. We're going to create a ref for this iframe and we are going to be able to pass messages using that. So we are going to want to import this from React and then we're going to create a null reference at first and we're going to want to add this to the iframe as a ref. So at first it's our ref is going to be null, but by the time this renders, we are going to have our iframe object here. So first we just want to make sure that this is not going to be a null object. So if we don't have anything in our ref, we're just going to want to return. By the way, using dot current is what we do to access our iframe object. But if we already have something, we are going to want to send a message. So we want to use our variable and then we need the current object and we are going to use content window for this dot post me message so this is uh, the method that we use to pass messages over 
So I'm just going to pass a message for now, which is going to be hello sun. And our second parameter is just going to be our current URL. So what we have to do next is that in our child, we have to make an event so that we can listen for messages that are being sent from the parent. So basically what we have to do here is add a method. We're going to use one of our React's uh, methods, which is going to be use effect. So first we pass the function that we are going to want to run. And as a second parameter, we pass an empty array so that this runs at least once. So inside here, we are going to add our event listener. We are going to want to listen for messages. And then we should pass a function so that we can handle our message. So we are going to want to make sure that our message comes from a trusted origin just to put a little bit of security perspective on this and if our message doesn't come from from one of our trusted sources then we are just going to want to return so next i am going to want to display the message so we are also going to use uh, use state from react basically i'm just going to declare a state variable here and we are going to set it to an empty string at first so when we get a message, we are going to want to set our message. I'm just going to concatenate a text here. And of course, we are going to want to display that. Okay, so this should be working. What I'm going to want to add here, I'm just going to add a couple of uh, line break elements so that it looks a little bit more uh, nice. And let's see what we have. So we're going to save this. And then let's see if we can send a message to the child iframe. And there it is. So we're also going to want to add the event listener to the parent element. So I'm just going to go to the child and I'm going to copy the exact same thing. We also have to declare use effect here and use state. I'm also going to take the same variable on the child and paste it here. And I am also going to want to display that. So also I'm just going to take this from the child element, the code that we already wrote, and I'm going to paste this. So uh, this should be good. And I am also going to want to create a button here so that we can send data to our parent. So I'm going to add the onClick event. And I'm going to pass a function. We also have to declare that function and we are going to use the window.parent to be able to pass a message then we're going to use the post message function i am and i am going to pass a the message from the channel here and i am also going to pass our url so now let's go and check and see if this works so i'm going to pass um, a message to the child and then I'm going to pass a message back to the parent. And there it is. Okay, that's great. So this is how we do this for the iframes. And now let's see how we do this for Windows. So now that we have our iframe, what we are going to want to do next is basically create copies for the window bit. It's basically going to be the same code with just a few changes. So I went ahead and created these other two components and I am also going to import them in our routes. And we can go ahead and copy the contents of our other uh, components that we already built. And of course, we have to replace our function names for both of these files. And also the title so that we don't confuse ourselves. So in the parent, instead of having an iframe, we are going to want to have another button so that we can open the window. So let's go ahead and create that. And we are going to want to create our open window function. And we are going to want to create a variable that can hold our window object. So we're just going to declare it at the top. And we are going to be using that here. So child window is going to equal to the window dot 
open function and here the first parameter that we want to pass is our url that we want to launch the second parameter is just our target name and the third parameter is just going to be a couple of options so we should be set for now i am going to save this oh excuse me i have forgotten to import our components too so now we can see if it works we can open a window and here it is so first we are going to want to send a message to the child so we have to modify our code for the parent so now that we don't have our iframe we are not going to be needing these uh, use rep so we can just go ahead and delete this and instead we are going to want to use our object window variable that we have here we can also remove the content window we just need the object and that's it so by using this we should be able to pass a message to a child so let's go ahead and check that out now if I open up a window and then I'm going to send a message it is right here so we sent a message from the parent to the child next we are going to want to send a message back so we have to modify the send method over at the child component and instead of having the window.parent now we can use the window.opener instead and that should be good so that we can send a message back so let's check it out I'm going to open the window then I can send a message to the child it's right here and now I should be able to post back a message to the parent and there it is so that's it for this tutorial guys please remember that I'm going to be linking to my github repo so that you can see the code and if you have any questions or comments please make sure to comment them under this video and I'll do my best to respond to them so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.